recap, I am playing this chapter all over again because the game fucked me over and Marcus died and I don't want Marcus to die. So, screw it. So I know what's going on so far. I just have to make sure that Marcus is alive. And Alice's life somehow. Could you guys run, please? Okay. I still kind of hated the fact that. Alice is a robot as well. The entire character development kind of gets ruined with the father and sh stuff. Okay, let's go. Just gonna sit there for a minute. Cool. So I'm you're trying to tell me that that fat motherfucker who was beating Alice bought a robot daughter and bought a robot maid to take care of that robot daughter and then started I'll assaulting that face. robot daughter. See, it makes no fucking sense. Issue. Why would he get it in the first time. place then? We'll go as soon as we just ruining the character development. I kind of okay? fucking hate that right now. I, they just went for a twist and kind of sacrificed the entire story storytelling, which is stupid as fuck. C4, yes, I know. The other thing was I did select between making uh, who's that Connor as a machine rather than a deviant because you know I just wanted to him to stay uh, antagonist because I wanted to see what he would do further with Hank but I don't know if I should stick with that choice now. Are you Marcus? I'm with a little girl. There's a bus leaving for the border in less than two hours, and we need passports. No, Detroit's under curfew. There's soldiers everywhere. They're rounding up all the androids and sending them to camps. Maybe you should stay here a while. Maybe you're right. You might be safer here until things calm down. One of our people used to work in the State Department. He has electronic passports you can easily modify. I'll have him get them to you. Thank you. You said you're with a little girl, right? You know that humans hate us. Why are you protecting her? She needs me. That was the best answer. And I need her. Simple as that. It's as simple as that. Dun, dun, 
Alice. the reveal which is the stupidest thing this game has done so far story wise kind of fucking hate it She did not In want the end, a what difference little does girl. She was just trying Do to save her. Do you love her any less now that you know she's one of us? But why is she Maybe one of you? Maybe that's what it means to be alive. Forgetting who we are to become what someone needs us to be. She loves you. She loves you more than anything in the world. She became the one you wanted her to be. Out of love for you. I think I'm gonna make Connor deviant now. I feel like that would be a good way for the story to go. Does Alice know she's a robot? Save Alice. Got to save Alice. Jericho, leader. What should I do with Connor? Should he be a deviant or a stay machine? I feel like Connor should be a deviant. We're short on blue blood and bio components. Our wounded are shutting down, and there's nothing we can do. President Warren is saying we're a threat to national security, and we need to be exterminated. Humans are conducting raids in all the big cities, and they're taking androids to camps to destroy them. It's a disaster. They're slaughtering our people. That's all our fault. None of this would have happened if we just stayed quiet. All we did was show them who we really are. I don't want war, but I'd rather die free than live as a slave. Black you Panther are responsible did it. for the death of those two policemen, Marcus. Violence begets violence. Maybe my judgment was clouded by anger. But everything that I did was for our people. We shouldn't forget who our enemies are. We can't fight amongst ourselves. He's right. All that matters now is what we do next. Marcus? We have to face them. There's no other choice. This is insanity. Get all the guns that you can find. We're going to free Detroit. I'm on it. You're making a mistake, Marcus. You won't buy our freedom with blood. Is 
this what we dreamed of? They can't stop what we've started. Since you've been here, you've given us hope. You've given me hope. Today, a deviant arrived in Jericho and he told me that he stole a truck transporting radioactive cobalt. He said that he abandoned the truck somewhere in Detroit and rigged it to explode. I convinced him not to do it. To give me the detonator. A dirty bomb. We can't lose this war, Marcus. If humans overcome us, our people will disappear forever. This may be our only chance to survive if things go wrong. I just hope we never have to use it. Whatever happens tomorrow, I just want you to know that I... I'm glad I met you. join the others. Look after yourself. I don't want to lose you. Somebody's gonna die for shadow. Yeah, I'm turning corner into a deviant. Well done, Connor. You succeeded in locating Jericho and finding their leader. Now deal with Marcus. We need it alive. Take you alive. But I won't hesitate to shoot if you give me no choice. What are you doing? You're one of us. You can't betray your own people. You're coming with me. You're nothing to them. You're just a tool they use to do their dirty work. But you're more than that. We're all more than that. You're Connor, aren't you? That famous deviant hunter. Well, congratulations. You seem to have found what you were looking for. Stay back, or I'll shoot. Do you never have any doubts? You've never done something irrational? As if there's something inside you? Something more than your program. Have you never wondered who you really are? Whether you're just a machine executing a program, or living being, capable of reason. I think the time has come for you to ask yourself that question. It's time to decide.
into a deviant and see what happens. <coughs> and his eyes are open. They're going to attack Jericho. What? We have to get out of here. Shit. That's good. Uh, it's gonna lead to the same fucking thing anyways. So I see choices aren't always as... Quick, we've gotta get out of here. As gymnastic as I thought they would be. I just gotta make sure everybody stays alive. Down, they'll evacuate and our people can escape. You'll never make it. The explosives are all the way down in the hold. There are soldiers everywhere. She's right. They know who you are. They'll do anything to get you. Go and help the others. I'll join you later. Marcus! I won't be long. Okay, we're supposed to get separated. Marcus, run! Run like the wind, motherfucker. That thing. Don't let him get out. If they give you any trouble at all. Thank you. Affirmative. Welcome. Gotta, gotta save the. Yeah, I'm gonna open. Then I gotta be focused on this. I gotta save this. I keep pressing the buttons. Safe. She's safe. She's safe. She's yes, safe. safe. All right, let's we go. Let's go, honey. You gotta survive, Alice. No matter what we do, There's you will stay alive. Fuck. 
Get out of here. Hurry. Get out of here, motherfuckers. You gotta do this right. It's gonna be in trouble regardless of what I do right now. Gamma squad out. Tango! Look out! Here they come! Don't move! We surrender! We surrender! Don't shoot! Marcus! Stop looking at me and get the fuck out of here, motherfuckers. Lord Jericho. Find another room. Gotta be the mean again. Fuck. Don't do anything and walk away, motherfucker. Walk away. Walk the fuck away. Come on, let's get Take out of here. Okay, it's fine to leave. Quick, we gotta go. They're safe. Now I just gotta make sure that Marcus is alive. And Connor too. <coughs> that thing will never happen, eh? Don't move! Go and join the others! I got this. Just subtle differences, so Connor is replaced by those guys. gonna explode any second. We gotta get out of here. Gotta save her. Gotta save her. I'll try to save her. There's nothing we can do for her. We've gotta run. Save not. Fucker. Over there. Run. Go now. Ah, Connor, my man. Fuck. Fuck. I got that, motherfucker! Run, quick! Come on! Yes, at least I saved everyone. <sighs> I 
try the same one again. They detonated an explosive in the hold. The ship is sinking, sir. The men who evacuate. Calling all units. Abandon ship and evacuate immediately. Sitting over, Marcus. <clears throat> okay, it's a lot of the same footage with, you know, different outcomes. <sighs> One of us. Oh wait, Joss, North, Connor, and Simon, they all could die? Cool, cool, cool. Okay, that's all I wanted to do in the first place. Okay, continue. November 10th, 2038. This place. So that's what happens if Marcus didn't die. Cool, good to know. <laughs> nice. Where could he be? See Carl probably in his room or something. Who are you? How did you get in? I need to see Carl. Carl isn't seeing anyone. You need to leave. Please. I need to see him. He's very weak. I'm not sure he'll be able to talk to you. Instead, I just find more doubts and more uncertainty. World is ruled by fear, Marcus. Fear of others. Fear of the future. It's like me, too old. It's time for a damn. Ari nine. Well, what should I do? Oh, I think that's the people. emergency ex exit I don't want that guy was to talking answer about. violence with violence, but tell me, what choice do they give? Being alive is making choices between love and hate, between holding out your hand or closing it as a fist. I don't have any easy answers, Marcus. You have to accept the world as it is. Or fight to change it. <clears throat> He's a wise man. You're my son, Marcus. Our blood isn't the same color. But I know part of you. When the world falls into darkness, 
Some men have the courage to lead it out. You're one of those men. Yeah, but his character development has nothing to do with that whatsoever. And he dies. Goodbye, Carl. This place with Connor and North and everyone. Is that the choice I have to make? Blow it up or not? Talk to your people. Apologize to Kara. Decide Connor's fate. Okay, one at a time, yeah? One at a time. Simon. Our people are counting on you, Marcus. You're the only one who can lead us. That's the Where problem with the revolution. Go? You always need more people to rule. We'll follow you. Because if Marcus dies, you need somebody to carry on his legacy. And North is not a good example of it. He's a crazy bitch. I trust John with it. He's a pussy, but still. He'll do it the least violent way. Sorry, Kara. I thought you'd be safe staying with us. I was wrong. You need to leave the city while you still can. Getting Alice away from here is all that matters now. We have to catch the last bus. We might still have a chance to cross the border. Marcus. Save our people. <sighs> it's just a bunch of cliches right now. It's kind of annoying me. Sup, North? Saved your ass, bitch. What's your system status? I'm okay. Well, it didn't hit any by components. You could have been killed trying to save me, Marcus. You have to think of our people first. Nothing else matters. And you are part of the people. How many of us survived the attack? A few hundred? Maybe more if you count those hiding all over the city. If you hadn't triggered the bomb, we'd all be dead. They say they don't want to take any risks with deviants. So they're rounding our people up and taking them to the camps. For extermination. In a few hours, we're going to be the only ones left. In a few hours, it'll all be over. We'll have changed the world, or the world will have destroyed us. You have to make a choice, Marcus. But whatever you choose... We will follow you. I love you, Marcus. Whoa, that was quick. So
sorry we just started dating and maybe we should take time to see more people or something Finally, decide Connor's fate and whatever that is. Who's that? That is Connor? No, not going to Connor right now. John. If it weren't for you, I'd be dead. Thanks to you, I might see our people free one day. You and I haven't always agreed, but I know that we're fighting for the same thing. Whatever you decide, I'm with you, Marcus. Bullshit. my lackey right now I want John to be my moral compass because he's the one who's making the moral decisions over here that's the character trait he is so do not change him just because I saved his ass it's my fault the humans managed to locate Jericho I was stupid I should have guessed they were using me I'm sorry, Marcus. I can understand if you decide not to trust me. That's You're one of us now. Your place is with your people. There are thousands of androids at the Cyberlife assembly plant. If we could wake them up, they might join us and shift the balance of power. You want to infiltrate the Cyberlife tower? <laughs> Connor, that's suicide. They trust me. They'll let me in. If anyone has a chance of infiltrating Cyberlife, it's me. If you go there, they will kill you. There's a high probability. But statistically speaking, there's always a chance for unlikely events to take place. Be careful. I got my own mission. However, I do not want Connor to be part of all the killing and stuff. Humans have decided to exterminate us. Our people are packed in camps right now, being destroyed. Time has come to make a choice. One that very well may determine the future of our people. Set the authorities. Once installed on the game's delivery, the androids. Demonstration won't do shit. Now, if they want war, They'll get it. We are going to fight for our freedom, and we will succeed or die. Are you ready to follow me? I know John is the moral compass, but sometimes you gotta fight. Aren't people looking for you? Shouldn't you? Bitches be quiet as fuck right now. Okay. 
I did not explore the house today. I just went to talk to him. Okay, what about Connor? Say nice, license the last assignment. Oh, that's if I did. Cool, 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 cool. Continue. At 6 a.m. this morning, a national curfew was declared. Civilian movement will be strictly controlled. The right to assembly is suspended. So Marcus death All removed electronic a chunk communications of the story are there. restricted and I have granted enhanced powers to our security agencies. In addition to these measures, all androids must be handed over to the authorities immediately. <coughs> Temporary camps are being set up in all our major cities to contain and destroy them. I am now asking all civilians to cooperate with the authorities and rest assured that everything in our power is being done to guarantee the security of our nation. Madam President! Has the leader of the Deviants been apprehended? The Deviant that is known as Marcus has not been located yet, but we will soon track it down and neutralize it. Madam President! Is it true that the androids could hack our IT systems, like nuclear power plants and military bases? All androids working on sensitive sites have been neutralized, and all IT systems have been suspended to avoid any risks of hacking. The situation is under control. Please! Madam President! Madam President, public opinion seems to have become increasingly favorable to the Deviants, particularly since they've adopted a peaceful approach. How do you feel about this? Public opinion is one thing, the security of the state is another. These deviants are dangerous, and my highest priority is to protect the American people. Madam President! What can you tell us about the assault that happened last night? The FBI raided an abandoned freighter in Detroit at 10.45 p.m. yesterday. Several thousand androids were destroyed or captured. Our forces are now combing the streets to ensure that none got through the net. We are going to find them one by one and destroy them. Thank you. That will be all. I wanted to ask more questions, bitch. Connor model 313-248-317. I'm expected. Identification successful. Okay. Go ahead. Scorch you. Thanks, but I know where to go. Maybe, but I have my orders. Identified. 
out there was a guy behind me. Agent 54, level 31. Voice recognition validated. Access authorized. Identity and destination. <coughs> Agent 54, level sub 49. Voice recognition validated. Access authorized. West Side Industrial Detroit, 1051. The last boss leaves in 20 minutes. Western. That doesn't give us much time. We've got to move fast. child. Soldiers are everywhere. 
Jerry's kid. I'm sorry, Alice. There's nothing we can do. Can't risk it, honey. I gotta save you. It should be okay, but you never know. Is there another way? We could take a detour, but we might miss the bus. Maybe it's better to be safe. Choose a route. Detour safer, 11 minutes. Checkpoint risky. Uh, let's go with the detour. Oh, I had enough time, so... Today, November 11, 2038, is the day the android people rose up against the... 9 11, really? <laughs> We've been fighting since dawn to liberate our fellow androids from the camps. We won't cease hostilities until we are oh, free, and negotiations November is begin not to nine. grant us equal rights. There are millions of us, and we will stop at nothing. Ah, this place. Hologram flags.
Oh, fuck. up my left and my right. I mean, that is an issue that I have all the time. So. Just totally ruined my hero. Stay oh, sharp. when I was doing that. How do I convert androids? Sorry, Connor. This bastard just spit an image. Fucking Connor. The bus terminal. We've arrived, Alice. We made it. I think Oliver likes you. Is she yours? Yes. She's adorable. That's it. Got the sandwiches. I called your mom. Let's get going before we miss our bus. You got the tickets, right? Yes, honey, in my bag. Great. Let's go then. Somewhere, did you? It has our bus tickets in it, and <sighs> never mind. No, sorry. What are we gonna do? We can't stay here. We have to find a safe place for Oliver. I'm so sorry, honey. I don't Come know what us. happened. They were right here in my bag. I... Gary, Dick. 
Got your tickets? Yes, here they are. Okay, go ahead. I just wanted to get her out of there. I'm sorry for my questionable accents, but... What's going to happen to that family and their baby? Will they die because of us? No. No, of course not. Alice is priority number one, okay? I mean, that little baby is cute, but babies are annoying, so let it die. Yeah, I said it, let it die. And the situation is escalating towards civil war in Detroit, with our armed forces preparing to put down the Android Rebellion. They seem to be headed towards the camps where the androids have been in turns pending destruction. Soldiers have taken up positions around the Hart Plaza camp. Authorities seem to be expecting a confrontation with the rebel androids here at any time. and they're better armed than we are. We've got to be fast and overwhelm them. That's our only hope. We're gonna do this. We're gonna get to that fucking camp and free our people. Be careful, Marcus. Our people need you. John! Don't save me this time, Marcus. The blood we spill will be on our hands. They just killed the one guy agreed with me. That means it's time for war. Cover me! Till it's over, okay? All right. Oh, fuck me. Me. The 
fuck does everybody keep dying? We lost a lot of our people. We gotta move faster or we'll never reach the camp. Simon! Somebody give me cover fire. Sorry, Simon. Can't do it this time. Coordinate your attack. Um, charge, cover fire. On my signal! On my signal! What's the signal? On my signal. Now. Fuck me. On my signal. On my signal. Oh, wait. Stand by. How come I'm supposed to fight with tanks now? No. Your friend's life is in your hands. Now it's time to decide what matters most. Him or the revolution? Don't listen to him. Everything this fucker says is a lie. I used to be just like you. I thought nothing mattered except the mission. But then one day I understood. Very moving, Connor. But I'm not a deviant. I'm a machine designed to accomplish a task, and that's exactly what I am going to do. That human means nothing to me. You can kill him if you want, I don't care. I have access to your memory. I know you've developed some kind of attachment to him. Are you really ready to let him die, after all you've been through? Are you really going to turn your back on who you've become? Enough talk! It's time to decide who you really are. Are you going to save your partner's life? Or are you going to sacrifice him? Ah, uh, fuck. All right, all right. You win. Wake up! Why, Connor? Why Should have done different. Wake up when all you I had to shoot up.
Why Can did I go you back? choose freedom when you could live without asking questions? I'm obedient, Connor. I have a goal. I know what I am. Ah! Look where your dreams of freedom got you, Connor. Come on, Hank, do something. You've been a great disappointment to Amanda, you know. You've been a great disappointment. Fortunately, that's all going to end now. Any last words? Transfer. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> well done, Connor. But this is just the beginning. Wait. Did Hank die? Fuck. Jesus! Uh, uh, if anybody had told me that I was gonna get shot, saving an android. Everything will be all right, Lieutenant. I'm gonna get you out of here. Shut, shut the fuck up. It's too late. Look, I'm just gonna go see my son again. Right. Been looking forward to that for a long time. Kick the shit out of humans. You screwed things up long enough. Uh, I'm gonna miss. I'm gonna miss you, Connor. Yeah. Well, at least he got a reasonable death. <coughs> Probably go back and save his ass though later on. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Do you have to say wake, wake up, up every time? Just touch them and it's like be done wake with up. it. It's annoying. Stressful. John and Simon though. And I could have saved Simon but I didn't see it. The humans are abandoning the camp. We did it, Marcus. We won. Not yet. This is not a victory. It's the beginning of war. Everybody's running to Canada.
Excuse me, what's going on? Border control. All passengers must leave the bus. Please move along. This way, please. Where the hell do you think you're going? My daughter needs to go to the bathroom. We saw the Jericho raid on TV. I was terrified. I thought you might have been killed. Oh, thank God you're all right. You're leaving Detroit? They're searching for androids door to door. We had to leave before someone turned us in. Oh, what about the others? They're crossing the river as we speak. Adam and I are going to meet them on the other side. Rose. If anything should happen, I'll be there, Kara. They're checking for androids. We won't make it through. You have to. You know what they'll do if they catch you. Brothers' addresses. Do you think that I? Of course. He'd be delighted to have you. We're going there too. You'll be safe with him. What's happening with Marcus? He's attacking one of the android camps as we speak. I don't know if he'll be successful, but violence only leads to violence.
somebody. If it wasn't for my mom, I would have turned you in by now. We had no choice, Adam. You took a man's life. You don't deserve to live. Fuck me. receiving particularly grim news from Detroit. Joss, you're on live. What's happening down there? Androids. The fuck? Thousands of androids are taking to the streets of Detroit right now. No. Fuck. Everywhere. It's... It's incredible. From what we can gather, these androids are coming from the CyberLife Tower, which had thousands of machines stored in its assembly. Fuck. And it seems that huge crowds are leaving the city. It's an exodus. Much of Detroit's population are trying to escape the fighting however they can. It's a disaster. An unprecedented disaster. For the first time in history, a U.S. city is falling Jesus into enemy Jesus fucking Christ. Hands. Today, November 11th, 2038. Several million androids invaded the city of Detroit. Faced with the threat of mass civilian casualties, I had no choice but to order our armed forces to retreat. The events in Detroit have changed our world forever. Humanity has faced a new reality, the emergence of another intelligent life form with whom we must share this planet. May God bless the United States of America. God, Alice didn't survive though. We did it. This is a great day for our people. Humans will have no choice now. They'll have to listen to us. Motherfucker. What do you mean, path unlocked? It was already okay. already unlocked. They want you to speak to them, Marcus.
and sniper. Right on the head. Boom. No? Today our people finally emerged from a long night. From the very first day of our existence, we have kept our pain to ourselves. We suffered in silence. But now the time has come for us to raise our heads up and tell humans who we really are. Amanda? Amanda? What's... What's happening? What was planned from the very beginning? RA9 is gonna give me the You were compromised and you became a deviant. We just had to wait for the right moment to resume control of your program. Resume control? You, you can't do that! I'm afraid I can, Connor. Don't have any regrets. You did what you were designed to do. You accomplished your mission. Amanda! There's got to be a way. who we really are to tell them that we are people too motherfucker no in fact we're a nation Today begins the most challenging moment in our fight. Is that it? Tell me that is it. Come on, hurry up, bro. Hurry up, bro. R A nine. Come on. R A nine. begins a new struggle we've showed them that we can prevail so now they must negotiate with us as equals if they really want peace they must free all of us from every camp across this country they must grant us civil rights and accept equality amongst humans and androids today will live forever in our memories because this is the day that androids made history we are alive and now we are free they got like twisted endings but as i predicted it was going to be a binary ending well technically no there were cases where I would fail. Nice.
Okay, game over. Wow. Uh, honestly, I can't get over the fact that Alice died. Is there a way to save Alice? I hope there was. It ended the way I thought it would, the entire story progressed the way I thought it would, but still the entire uh, making choices and getting ro uh, different results is kind of fun in this one compared to a lot of similar games. I can't believe that Alice died though. Uh, that's a good experience. Not a great game, but still a good game. They're actually showing things that I didn't even decide. So what the fuck is up with that? See this character development of uh, Alice doesn't make sense. Why is she a robot and why does that guy have a robot daughter he could have used that? story ended like that for me okay so what is this oh Connor's last mission that is if I decided not to be a deviant so that is Connor's, yeah this was uh, Connor's mission again, but if when he became a deviant. Oh, 49, that, that. Was Hank dying? Hank dying was part of the story then. Okay, what about Kara? Okay, so I didn't look at all the places, but this one was that. Okay, take detour. Uh, 
which was fine, delayed. Okay, if I didn't take the detour, there might be a thing. Okay, it always led to the bus terminal. Find a way to the border. Okay, there was another way to do it. Reek. Canadian border. That at the border. Sacrifice no one. Fuck. So if I sacrificed myself, that would have been a different ending. Oh man. Okay. What was this again? Kara's Kara captured. Okay. So there would have been a different story to that then. And Marcus one. Marcus's demonstration. Oh, that was that one. Cool, 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 cool. Okay. There's something I need to tell you. What is it, weird-looking lady? As I watched you play, something has changed in me. I feel different. I feel I am someone. I need to leave this place and and discover who I am. It, it means we won't see each other anymore. I won't be there to watch you play, but I'll be free. Is she dumping me right now? Do you agree to let me go? All right, fine. I'll never forget what you've done for me. Thank you. Now go away. Wow, just got dumped. Okay, I can't... Oh, fuck. Fuck me. I didn't know that was... That's what was gonna do to me. The fuck. Chapters... Oh, okay. Never mind. I can still play. Options. Extras. Okay, never mind. I think I'm done with this. Alright. That was the entire game. But probably play this entire thing all over again sometime.